Jack Cast Iron Casey, the Sunderland Assassin. 224 professional fights, never been knocked out. Marcel Till, the French middleweight world champion, called him the toughest man on the planet. And in 1955, the Boxing News ran a six part story on Jack Casey. The headline was, toughest man on the planet. He was even immortalized in cartoon strips, in newspapers and in the Boxing News. Len Harvey, the British middleweight champion, said he was the toughest man that he'd ever faced. Uh, he, but he was a kind, caring and compassionate man. And in later years, he was a legend around Sunderland and the North East. He would get so many well wishes and people coming up to him in pubs and on the street asking for his autograph. Uh, he never had to buy a drink in the pubs because he was so loved up there. So Jack Casey was born in Southwark in Sunderland in 1908. And uh, at the age of 17, he had a paperboy route. And whilst he was a paperboy, he came across a boxing competition for flyweights held at Holmside Stadium in Sunderland in 1926. He knocked his first opponent out in the first round and then he battled to a draw in the final of the competition. So Jack only had a handful of amateur fights before turning professional. And in his first year as a professional, he had 30 fights, winning 22, losing six, and drawing two, which is an amazing amount of fights. You compare that to fighters nowadays. Uh, Jack Cast Iron Casey was known for his iron jaw, but he was never knocked out and never stopped. He lost on cuts mainly. 1928, Jack fought his first 15 rounder. He was headlining the bill against Al Kenny, and everyone there said that Jack Casey outworked his opponent. But the referee, which was former heavyweight champion Billy Bombardier, Billy Wells, raised the hand of his opponent, much to the disapproval of the crowd who booed and jeered. And he received a nickname, Cast Iron Casey, after fighting Dino Gazelli. Gazelli's promoter, Joe Tolley, came up and said to Jack, where'd you get that cast iron jaw from? Hence the nickname was born. The next couple of years, Jack would move up from welterweight up to middleweight, and he was fighting a lot of tough opponents, often headlining the bill. So 1931 was a particularly good year for Jack beating Dick Bartlett and George Willis. And he was lined up to fight Marcel Till, the French middleweight champion, who would eventually go on to become the world champion. He described Casey as the toughest man on the planet. He won a hard fought battle, but he was cut early on in the fight by Casey and he was hurt numerous times. But to show the level that Till is, he was rated the second greatest European boxer of all time by box rec and number one was Joe Calzaghi. Casey had two fights with middleweight champion Len Harvey. The first fight being a non-title fight over 15 rounds. Jack lost on points. He then had a run of victories, beating contenders like Jock McAvoy and Archie Sexton, which led to a rematch with Len Harvey for the British middleweight title this time. The fight was in New St. James Hall in Newcastle. A very competitive start to the fight. The first five rounds, very tough. The sixth round, Casey caught Len Harvey, knocked him into the ropes, and he was sagging on the ropes with his arms were hanging loose. And Casey, instead of following up, he thought that Len Harvey was trying to sucker him in to a counter punch, so he, he didn't follow through and let him off the hook. But Casey caught Len Harvey again in the 12th, had him in trouble in the 12th, but Harvey managed to survive to the 15th and won on points and he actually broke his hand on Jack Casey's jaw and his hand was never the same again after. Jack Casey went on to beat legendary fighters like Welsh light heavyweight champ Tommy Farr, Reggie Mean and Jack London. Jack retired from boxing in 1942 with a record of 150 wins, 62 losses and 15 draws, but never once was he knocked out. So Jack sadly passed away in 1980 at the age of 72, four years after his wife Elizabeth passed away. But he'll always be remembered as one of the toughest men ever to come out of the North East with a loving side, a caring side, a compassionate side. He was loved by everybody. Crowds would gather for his autograph and when he couldn't write properly, when his hands were suffering a little bit, he even got a stamp made up so he could stamp people's books for the autographs. But he, yeah, he was always uh, the centre of attention wherever he went in the North East. Now he has got a book written about him as well, which I'll put a link in the description to the book. And his grandson, uh, John Casey, actually uh, found out that his grandfather had no 
real headstone and no real grave, uh, marked grave. So he went into local newspapers uh, last year. He started a GoFundMe to try and raise money for a headstone just to get a nice tribute to a legendary fighter. Um, I'll put a link in the description to that article as well. And if the GoFundMe page is still up and running, um, yeah, we could all donate to that if it's still running. I think he maybe sorted it by now, but um, his grandson John also found some amazing me memorabilia in the loft. Uh, photographs, newspaper articles, boxing news articles, even the gum shield that Jack used to wear, he's found. So um, I'll put some pictures up of that. And yeah, thank you to John for the pictures and stuff. So Jack, Cast Iron Casey, a truly tough man, a good man, but a man from a different era. They're a dying breed, men like this. And sadly, I don't think we'll see the likes of men like this much more. But I hope you liked the video, everybody. And um, thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you to everybody who watches the video. Please leave a comment. Please share. Please like the video. It means the world to me. And uh, thank you for all the support for the channel. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you.